My name is Rose Kariuki. I'm a mother of one girl. I'm a teacher by profession. I teach in Kajiado County. Uh, I'm coming from a family of four children and a mother and a father. Though my mom now is deceased. And uh, we live in Nairobi. Yeah, my name is Rahab Kariuki. I am a wife. I'm a mother, yes, and I'm also an accountant by profession, working for the government of Kenya. At that time I was 46 years old, and you see they say life starts at 40. So I think I had just started life and I was feeling good about myself. The kids are now, they were a bit grown up. So I was ready for life and all that. And you see now discovering that you have cancer, it was traumatizing. Back in 2013, I realized that I had a lump on my left breast. It had been there, it would go and come, go and come, but it was painless. So this one day in the month of March, I just decided to walk myself into a clinic to go and uh, ask the doctor what it was all about. In that moment, the doctor touched it and he said that uh, to him, it was not alarming, but he felt it needed to be checked into more details. So when I went to Kenyatta, uh, the doctor that I was referred to, he also touched that small lamp and it, it was actually moving. And then he said, uh, it doesn't look bad, that we're going to do for you FNA, which is called fine needle aspiration, to remove some content and check. When I went back for the results, he said uh, the results were also suspicious, but you're going to do another test called core biopsy. When they went to test, uh, it is the one that actually now gave the results. Uh, I'm so sorry to let you know that uh, indeed um, we diagnosed with your tissues and we realized that uh, you have malignant cells rest and then I was like Mal I didn't actually understand at that point what malignant meant so he said yeah you have cancer cells in your left breast and uh, the reason I wanted you to come with your kin is because this is not just any other news that is told to someone a mother is a walking miracle One person who represents the name of love to every person's lips and hearts. I feel so good that at least I was I was appreciated at the Junction Mall and uh, I just feel very happy and you see the happier we are the longer we live. I feel so many other days have been added into my life. I'm also very happy for being here at the Junction. We've gotten some wonderful, wonderful treatment and so we feel so good and we are saying that this is a place where you should visit. Just come and see what they have. They have so much to offer. When you talk about mothers, uh, if you really don't have a mother, you could be having a sister, having your wife, a cousin that you feel you'd want to treat. So let us appreciate all of them. Let us appreciate each other and let us show each other love because we need to be there for each other. The more you give love to other people, the more it comes back to you.
is wonderful. It's so fulfilling. I think that is, I can say that is the greatest achievement of all the things that I've done uh, in this life. Yeah, so far, so good. I have grown up kids now. I'm already a grandma. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so I thank God. Motherhood. All love begins and ends there. At the Junction Mall, we celebrate mothers not just today, but every day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>